Welcome back. It's, I know, it's Booze and the Jew. You thought I was gone. I thought I was gone. But you know what? You know, I went back to work, you know, meaning like back to the office. We've been working, but you know, kind of trying to get through the end of this COVID thing. And lo and behold, a reason to create a drink came up. So here I am. I have a couple drinks that I want to do. So you may see me who knows? You know, you won't see me if you don't watch, but okay. But if you watch this, you're going to see me. So why am I here? I'm here because of this. Jude, what is that? That is Irish whiskey and specifically Glendalock Irish whiskey, double barrel Irish whiskey. So guess what? It's from a place called Glendalock, Ireland. County, ooh, is it Wickford? County Wickford? Something like that. Okay. At any rate, it's near Dublin, not too far from Dublin. It's a double barrel whiskey. Whiskey with an E. In Ireland, they spell it with an E. In Britain, remember, they take away the E. Scotland, no E. So, um, double barrel meaning they use bourbon, like American bourbon, bourbon barrels to age it, and Spanish barrels for sherry. So it's going to have both like a caramel and a sweet taste to it. Well, why Jude? Why are you using this? Why are you back? And what's going on? Okay, well, I have a friend. Hi, Steve. His name is Steven. Or Isaac, or I like to call him Prima. That's another story. I know him from way back when I was a college student in New Orleans, Louisiana. So I'm using this little coaster today from Liuzas, New Orleans. Hey Liuzas, I'm Bienville. Nice to see you. Um, we go back to we go back a long way. So like you know probably five or six years or more. Anyways, so Steve is a he's at a parish, a church. He does music there, and it's in New York, and it's called Saint Kevin's. Now notice on this. There's a like a, a saintly looking figure, yes, and it's St. Kevin. Or as we might say in Ireland, I wouldn't. Okay, I, I had to look long and hard on how to pronounce this. It could be Keeveen or Queeveen. We're gonna say the anglicized version, Kevin. So St. Kevin was this like, uh, he was born at the end of the sixth century, very end of the sixth century. He didn't live too, too long. He was a youngster, but he was a, a monastic kind of guy. And so he, uh, he went and, hung out in this place like he was a hermit and it's now called St. Kevin's bed. It's like a cave and his friends were like animals. There's a story of him like holding his arm out and a blackbird just like nested on it and you know then they had babies and stuff so he must have just been hanging out there for a long time. So sort of like a St. Francis character, he became the first abbot of a monastery there. Okay, St. Kevin's, there you go. Um, and, and a holy guy. Um, so they, um, named this because it was in Glendalock where this is made. They named this or sort of give, gave him credit and here's the, oh, there's a picture. He's got the blackboard on his hand. Oh my God. I didn't even know that. Excuse my language. Anyway, so, um, so here it is. We're going to call this drink. We're going to make, anyway, so let's go back. Blah, blah, blah. So my friend Stephen does the music at a place called St. Kevin's and it's in Flushing's, ooh, Flushing, Queens. And so I'm like, okay, it would have been better Manhattan if I could like made a take on the Manhattan, but you know, I don't want to call a drink St. Kevin's flushing. Ugh. Now, lo and behold, there is a St. Kevin's drink using this. Um, so I had to do something different. Um, I'm going to do a little take on the old fashioned and I'm going to combine a few things. I'm going to combine, obviously this is the main character, St. Kevin. There you go. Glendalock double barrel Irish whiskey with an E. We're doing some Catholic stuff here. So I'm taking out the old Benedictine because he was a monastic guy. He was an abbot, okay? And he also like lived in a cave by himself. You know, people came out because he was kind of special and you know, he was a he was a protege of St. Columba, another famous Irish saint. Um, but there you go. So we got the Benedictine going on there. Then I'm gonna just throw in some, I'm doing bitters but I'm gonna use Peshaw's bitters. Why Jude? Because you know what? They're from New Orleans and uh, sorry, Steve, I know this has nothing to do with your church in, in Queens, but we're gonna use Peshaw's bitters. And here's the thing, Jude, what's that? Yeah, it's blueberry simple syrup. Okay, now in Glendalock, lots of things grow, right? Our friend Maggie, our mutual friend who also went to school with us, I was a little older than her. She lives near there, right? She lives in Dublin. And she said, oh, there's all kinds of things growing there and it better be a good drink because, you know, I better like it. Okay, so um, what grows in Glendalock, one of the things that grows there, and it, it would be better to pick them in July, um, are things called, okay, I, the, again, 
do I speak the Irish language? No, like Fuihan, Fuihan. Basically, I would have called them Frickan um, if I had read it. Bilberries, wild bilberries, or as we would say, wild blueberries. Now, I can't get those things here, come on. But I can get blueberries because I'm five miles south of Michigan and we're just like the, the southwest area of Michigan. It's like blueberry kingdom of the world, all right? So I got some fresh blueberries, which are still being grown there. And you can get go go to Ireland and get your fresh bilberry flan things and make a blueberry simple syrup. Basically, you know what simple syrup is? We've been over this. So equal parts water and sugar. So equal parts water, sugar, and fresh blueberries. Simmer it five ten minutes. Strain it. Bob's your uncle. And you know what? This is also good. You know, take some sparkling water and put this in it. Make some blueberry soda. You know, pour it on ice cream. I don't care. This is good stuff. So instead of using like sugar, like a sugar cube, like you would in an old fashioned, um, I'm gonna go with a little blueberry simple syrup. I also sprayed, uh, squeezed some lemon juice on it, just to cut the sweetness. So there it is. Now, because I've got, you know, like a fruity thing, I could shake it, but you know, I'm gonna, again, I'm taking the, like the old fashioned take here. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna like stir it in a pitcher, right? And we're gonna call this baby I'm gonna name it after your church there, but I'm not gonna call it St. Kevin's Flushing because, you know, they didn't have toilets back then. I'm gonna call it St. Kevin's Queens. And there you go, you can call it whatever you want, but here's your drink, pal. I got my big one rock, round one. I'm gonna put it on my Liuzas beer in a frosted mug coaster. Hi, Liuzas. And here we go. So I will put the ice in later. So first thing, take a real healthy dose of bitters. And I was going to do ginger bitters. I thought I was long and hard on this, but I was like, no, go back to our roots there. So like two or three shakes, good shakes of the Peychaud's, right? I'm going to do a half an ounce of this blueberry simple syrup or bilberry or flahong, flahong, whatever, blueberry. It's going to make the drink a lovely blue and it's going to be, I don't want it too sweet. So stick with a half an ounce. That's why I said I, I poured some lemon juice in there. And I'm gonna do a lemon twist with it. So we got that, get that out of there because that stains well, no, we need it. Um, Benedictine, now, you know what? If you wanna know about Benedictine, go to one of my other episodes. But I'm gonna, I'm sticking with the story that it was created by Benedictine. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Benedictine, which is a, a bit of a herbal, it's really good stuff, okay? And it goes well with this whiskey. Now, this whiskey, blend on. I took a, you can see I've had some, come on. I'm not gonna buy it and not have some. Um, what can I say about it? It is both caramel, like toasty and sweet with a little bit of that sweetness from the, um, from the sherry because of those two barrels. And it's, you know what? I really like it. I don't know, I like I've told you, I don't, I don't drink a lot of Irish whiskey just because you know what? Here you're gonna get Jameson's or Bush Mills, which they're fine. But you know, I had to go to Grand Rapids pay a little bit of money. Um, it's really good. It's really good stuff. So I'm going to do two ounces of this stuff. Why not? Okay. Two ounces of the whiskey. You're going to have a blue drink because you know what? Because of those flechons or flechons or blueberries or whatever, bilberries. Um, so fill your pitcher up, put some ice in it. And we're going to stir it to get it cold. And I'm going to, I'm going to do a little strain, double strain because of the blueberry. I didn't strain the blueberry stuff. So, so let's give it a stir and get it cold. I hope you like blue, Mr. Steve, because, well, purpley blue. Because, you know, what can I say? You know, elderflowers, we could have done that. And I thought, it's gonna be too sweet too. I don't know. I don't like sweet drinks. What can I say? But I do like blueberries. I love blueberries. So we're gonna, we got that wash line pretty high now. That's pretty good. And there you go. And we'll put this on my other coaster from Lindisfarne, Holy Island. That's in Britain, but also Celtic. See, I'm trying to stick with the themes here. Okay, so here we go. Um, I don't have my other strainer, so I'm just gonna use my Hawthorne strainer and I'm gonna double strain, just to keep the blueberry mash out of there. So when I made the blueberry simple syrup, I, um, I simmered it and strained it. I mean, like, a, not not a fine strainer, you know, just to keep the blueberries from going in there. But like I said, yeah, you want to double strain it. See, there's all this kind of gooey stuff. Yeah. 
Where do we put that? I don't know. Let's try there. It's not going to stay. We'll just put it here and hope it doesn't stain. So uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a lemon twist. That's pretty thick. That's okay. That's okay. That's just for the heck of it. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve and Maggie, St. Kevin's Queens. Salute there. Yeah, you know what? I like it. Of course I like it. I tried it before. It's not like I just made this up now. Come on. So the bourbon is really good. I mean, excuse me, the whiskey. Don't call it bourbon. Bourbon, America. The whiskey's really good. The Benedictine gives it a little bit of herbal. Takes away from that like really sickly sweetness. You don't want you don't want it sickly sweet because the blueberry simple syrup is pretty sweet. Um, and the Peychaud's bitters are kind of just an interesting aromatic for it. I really like this. Now I could suggest, you know, I was I thought about making them with blackberries, but you know I had to Mexican blackberries this time of year. I was like, so let's go with blueberries because they have blackberries there too. Um, and I just and, I, and the bitters are a necessity. You got to have the bitters. You can use another kind of bitter, but you know, just for fun, I'm using the New Orleans bitters. So I would say, you know, if you like a blue drink, you want to give this one a try. This is a good one. If you can get a hold of this, and if you live in Mishawaka, guess what? You can't. But if you live in a, like a, a, a normal city that has a good selection of, of whiskeys, you can get this. So here you go, you guys. Salute to, to, to Stephen, to St. Kevin's Parish. Maggie, you too. Hope you're enjoying your life in Dublin. See you next time.